In this video, I want to take a look at the tangential and normal components of the acceleration vector. In a previous video, when we were calculating curvature, and in particular the formula that used r prime crossed with r double prime, we started with um, r prime and noticed that it could be written as the length of r prime times the tangent vector. Uh, and then rewrote it like this because the length of r prime is the derivative of the arc length. And then we took the derivative, and we had to use a product rule on this side. So the second derivative of r, which is the acceleration, was uh, this. Right? So this just came out of the product rule. Now, um, I want to change this a little bit, just substituting back in that the sdt is um, the length of r prime. Okay. And then I want to recall that the unit normal vector was defined as uh, t prime divided by the length of t prime. So multiplying both sides by that denominator, I get that t prime is the length of t prime times the unit normal vector. So I'm going to substitute that in for this t right here to get this, right? So that t prime just became the length of t prime times n. Now I'm going to recall that the curvature, one of our formulas for the curvature, was the length of t prime divided by the length of r prime. So multiplying both sides by that denominator, I get that the length of t prime is the curvature times the length of r prime. So this length of t prime, I'm going to substitute with that stuff to get this, that the second derivative is this stuff plus all that stuff. And then we'll just tidy that up a bit to get, um, to get this, that this second derivative vector, so the acceleration vector, is the second derivative of the arc length times the unit tangent vector plus the curvature times the speed squared times the normal vector. So that is the part of the acceleration vector that's in the direction of the tangent vector is the second derivative of the arc length. Remember the first derivative of the arc length is the speed. And so the second derivative of the arc length is the acceleration along the curve. If you think of that cur any curve as being straightened out, right, and, and the arc length is just straight now, then that's just the acceleration. On the other hand, the, the component of the acceleration vector in the normal direction, so if the tangent vector is going this way, right, the curve is moving that way, the normal vector is perpendicular to it, coming down here or something, um, that's what's causing the curve to curve, rather than going in a straight line. If the acceleration was in the direction of the unit tangent vector, you just get moving along a straight line. But it turns because some of the acceleration is perpendicular to the unit tangent vector, so in the direction of the normal vector. And look at what it, it the component is. It's the curvature times the speed squared. Now think about when you're riding in a car and you're going around a corner. You feel like you're being pushed up against, you know, pushed up against the door. And so I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I got some crazy driver over there um, taking a corner, maybe fast, maybe slow, I don't know. But think about what what it is that, that's pushing you up against the door. Or maybe the door is pushing up against you, because really that's what's happening. The door is pushing up against you to get you to go around the corner, right? Otherwise, you just keep going straight. So when is it that you feel a big push from that from that door as you go around the corner? Well, it could be because... You're going around the corner fast. You know, picture any corner, right? Go around it slowly. Go around it fast, right? Slowly, you don't feel much push. Fast, you feel a lot of push. But then you could you could say, well, picture the same speed going around two different corners. Go around a sharp corner, or go around a really slow corner. Right? You can be going the same speed around both of them, and you don't really feel much push against you when you go around that slow corner. But if you try to go around that fast corner, it's going to it's going to have to push hard because it's got to change your velocity vector very rapidly as you go around the sharp corner. So you get big sideways push from either going fast around the corner or from going around the sharp corner. And that's why both of these things are in the component of the normal vector. Now, when you're asked, you know, when you're doing your homework or whatever, and it says, you know, find the tangential and the normal components, it's not like you have to take 
the derivative twice of the arc length, or you have to find the curvature and whatnot, that if you've calculated R double prime, it means you've already calculated R prime. Right? And so the component, and, and T is in the same direction as R prime. So the component of R double prime in the direction of T is the same as the component in the direction of, of R prime. So you could just do the, the scalar projection of R double prime onto R prime. So just the dot product of the two of them divided by the length of r prime. That would be this part. Likewise, you could find a component in the direction of n. Once you found this one, then just use Pythagoras. You know the length of the diagonal. It's the length of r double prime. And you know the component in the direction of the first derivative. You just calculated that. And so use Pythagoras to get the other side. And once you've got that other side, you can even say, hey, I can find the curvature this way because I could just divide now by the length of the first derivative squared. So this actually gives another way of calculating the curvature by just projecting your second derivative onto your first derivative. Find the length of that. Use Pythagoras with the diagonal being the length of the second derivative and the projection you just did as the one side. So you can find that other side. That other side has a length equal to the curvature times the speed squared. So divide by the speed squared to get the curvature. Anyway, there is the tangential and normal components of the acceleration vector.